Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, May 15th, 2015. We're at the end of the week and unfortunately the end of the pleasant weather conditions as today will be the last day that we are under the influence of high pressure until about next Wednesday. So this morning we have temperatures ranging from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the far northern interior and basically in your higher elevations. Otherwise we're talking about mid to upper 40s over the northwestern suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City. Meanwhile, along the coast, temperatures generally range from the upper 40s to lower 50s, generally lower 50s in your urban locations. Notice the winds are starting to develop out of the southwest at around 5 miles per hour as our high pressure system shifts off the coast, leading to an increase in humidity by this afternoon, but still temperatures are pretty seasonable for this time of year in the lower to mid 70s, which is pretty much where we should be for the afternoon hours. Let me take a look at our infrared satellite picture. You can see our high pressure system basically right over our neck of the woods. Now this high pressure system will shift off the coast. What this is right here is actually the warm air transport or warm air advection, some may call it, at 850 millibars, the middle of the atmosphere. And that's a key distinction uh, compared to the surface warm front, which is way back here over the upper Midwest and Tennessee River Valley. So this portion of the warm air is rapidly moving ahead of the rest of the uh, warm front structure. And so as a result, what we'll see is increase in clouds throughout the day. I don't expect any showers until this evening as we'll get better lifting dynamics setting up for this evening into tomorrow morning with a few scattered showers and an isolated thunderstorm possible tonight into tomorrow morning. Temperatures by tomorrow morning will fall into the upper 50s to lower 60s, so you can tell the difference in the humidity in the atmosphere as low temperatures will not be as cool as what they are this morning. This warm front will move through the region for this weekend, leading to some rather tropical conditions by the time we get to Sunday with uh, temperatures in the 80s, high levels of humidity, we're talking about dew points in the 60s, so you're definitely going to feel the humidity in the air and a threat for showers and thunderstorms as well. Not a washout this weekend, but certainly the showers and thunderstorms will be a nuisance. Better potential for heavy rainfall than any type of severe weather, though. Uh, it's clearly a heavy rainfall threat rather than a severe threat. And again, these showers and thunderstorms will be widely scattered, and the thunderstorms will be isolated. Take a look at the radar. Pretty much high and dry here. Our showers are back here over the Great Lakes, and probably get here by this evening into the overnight hours. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance, and we're going to use the European model guidance from the Penn State Wall website. And again, for today, high pressure exits off the coast. Look for high temperatures in the lower to mid 70s. Our warm front approaches on Saturday, tomorrow, with the threat for showers and thunderstorms rather scattered to isolated. Look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. High temperatures in the mid 70s in the New York City metropolitan area upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. The warm front will be well to our north and east into New England by the time we get to Sunday, with low temperatures much warmer in the mid to upper 60s, high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. Look for a threat for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Also a threat for some locally dense fog, especially in the morning hours. By the afternoon, we'll see some clearing, but again, I still think we'll be at a threat for a shower or thunderstorm, so we'll keep an eye on that. On Monday, that warm front pushes back as a backdoor cold front. Notice the high pressure system right here, setting up over the Gulf of Maine. That's usually a pretty good sign that we're going to see some strong marine influences, especially in the New York City metropolitan area. Right now, we're going for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. High temperatures on Monday in the New York City metro in the lower to mid 70s, meanwhile the Philadelphia metro in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Low caveat here, if this marine air mass is a bit stronger, do not be surprised if we end up in the 60s in the New York City metropolitan area. Meanwhile, Philadelphia metro, which will be basically to, basically the backdoor core front will be to the north and west of the Philadelphia metro, could still be in the 80s, so we could be dealing with a rather impressive thermal gradient on Monday, so we'll have to watch that very, very carefully. 
as that could be a major change in the forecast. On Tuesday, regardless of where the backdoor cold front is, a cold front from the west will move through with showers and thunderstorms. Look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s in the New York City metro, lower to mid 60s in the Philadelphia metro. High temperatures in the lower to mid 70s in the New York City metro, upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia metro. Again, this is all about the starting point here of where that backdoor cold front is. Obviously, if the backdoor cold front sets up further south and west, those temperatures in Philadelphia will be a bit cooler. However, if it sets up further north and east, let's say in Connecticut, then New York City would be a bit warmer, and there will be a better potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms as a result. So we'll watch that very carefully. Again, high volatility potential here for Monday and Tuesday. What won't be high volatility will be the weather on Wednesday and Thursday with high pressure and control and much cooler weather conditions. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 50s on Wednesday morning and high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Again, a little bit below normal for this time of year, but not too far off. And then on Thursday, look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s and high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower, to lower 70s. Excuse me. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.